What's up guys, it's Mizuno, I'm going to be going over a fringe hardpoint gameplay, just uh, kind of showing you guys how to, not necessarily run AR, but how I run AR, and um, on this map it was very successful the way I was doing it, with the way my teammates were playing. Alright, so here I just saw the guys cross mid street, so I'm going to watch that window, um, come out, challenge the guy on the hill, and for some reason he's still behind me, so they're going to get that scrap time. And now I know I need to rotate, so I'm going to go mid street. Because I see my teammates are going to be coming mid street with me as well, so I'm going to provide cover fire for them so they can get as far up on that wall as they can. Um, there's a guy top grandma. I'm going to kind of pin him down so my teammate Cinder can push up to the house. He gets killed though, but I do have a teammate pushing up the left side, so I'm going to help him push left side. No, there's a guy on this train right there. Get that kill. Going to go ahead and push this dome spawn out so my teammate spawn next to me. I'm going to push up with him, trying to get spawn control right here. There's two guys. He picks up the guy on this uh, silo, so I know that I have to just play my life until my teammates can get there. And on, as I can see on the minimap, there's a teammate right behind me, so I'm baiting this guy out right now. And then, as you can see, the kill gets traded. And now we have full spawn control. So I'm going to pick up this little... A lot of people call this Z or L wall. Um, so I pick that up. There's a guy mystery. Kill him. Another guy pushes me dome. I die, but since we have spawn control, I'm going to spawn right on silos. I'm going to go help my teammate out right side. I don't get this kill, but you know I put some cover fire down for him to pick it up. And we still have spawn control. As you can see, guy dome. And now, on this hill right here, this is what a lot of ARs don't do. Um, I like to sit back and give my team a definite spawn so that we don't get pinched from one side and spawn in that brick alleyway. If you know what I'm talking about, it's the, it's the alleyway literally completely across the map from where I'm at right now. So I like to just sit back here. I mean, it's kind of a, like, it's just playing slow, I guess, and some people don't like doing it, but it, at least it gives your teammates a definite spawn, so like, if you're not getting all the time, you're close enough to just push the hill and get scrap time at least, or just keep it contested. And then of course, like, if my teammates go down, I'm gonna jump in the hill, like any normal play, but I'm talking about just from like the initial setup of the hill, I like to play a little further back, make sure they're not coming through 10 or coming through L wall coming top grandmas and flanking and then spawning us out and then I rotate to new hill I'm gonna sit on this white truck to pick up this new mid rotation as you can see I'm just on the white truck slowing out I get hit with a nade right here but you know, I did my I did my part of keeping mid map held down so my teammates can get to the hill in advance and start set up a spawn trap on these guys. I get flanked from trains, so I call that out. And uh, since that guy flanked me from trains, I called out that they were gonna spawn that Peach's truck, but I guess my teammates didn't hear me because they spawn all over ten. They got a split spawn. And then, you know, just on any mid hill, you just really want to provide cover fire for your subs to be able to get on the hill. It's not really your first priority to be on the hill and on the first hill. Like I said, I'm just slaying mid map. I'm on a little bit of a kill streak right now. I'm anchoring the spawns, making sure we have rotation. There is a guy on the new hill already, but since I'm in a position to pinch, it ends up working out perfectly. And like I said, I'm just blocking this alleyway spawn and this uh, bricks door. Trying to force them to spawn Peach Truck, which is where they should be spawning. Obviously, I can't see their mini map, but that's just my initial guess. And then, you know, my teammates start dying, so I'm pushing the hill. That guy's big kill from that guy. I know one's flanking, I kill him. Now I go back to the hill, trying to get some of this, the rest of this time. And I'm close to my streak, so at this point I'm trying to play for my streak because I know that could be huge for breaking this next hill since we're on the, we're technically on the wrong side of this new rotation. You want to be pushing it from 10 at 30 seconds so that you're spawning grandma's house for the new hill, but I get my streaks right here, so I'm going to streak this out. My teammate pushes in and dies if he would just wait a split second, it would have worked out perfectly, but I'm also playing to get my Wraith and my Cerberus at this point. I know there's a guy in 10 still, I just don't know where he's at. I pick him up. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut my map right here, and I'm going to leave that 5 seconds, because like we're up 100 points, that 5 seconds means nothing right now. So I'm just trying to get a head start on the new rotation. Like I said, I think they're going to spawn barn. I didn't see him, so I turned, but I ended up turning back around and killing the guy. Probably should have stayed in the head glitch right there, but I didn't. And then, like I said, I'm going to pick up 10, I'm going to tell my other AR he needs to pick up train, which he does. 
and then they go fight Hill. I, right now, I'm like, a lot of people would say I'm being a kill whore right now, but what I'm doing is I'm just holding that spawn because as long as we have that spawn, the hill's gonna be a lot easier to break. If I go in there and die, and there's a guy flanking, and then I die in the hill, and the guy flanking is gonna get new spawns. So like, we'll spawn out, and then we'll never break the hill. So I, it's just my job right there to make sure we keep spawns so that we can initially, like, we can eventually break the hill instead of just trying to flood it and then not picking up the, like, the side cuts. And like I said, I, like, I'm just gonna play this train hill the same way I played it on the first rotation. I'm just gonna hold this, like, around dome pretty much the entire time and let the other three guys just keep flooding on the hill, trying to get, like, as much time as they can get, push to the other side, spawn them out, and then, you know, then I'll pick up the flankers and the pinchers. watching that I'm watching right now I'm watching the alleyway push across my map and I get gunned by miracles right there but my service is there to pick up the kill and like I said I'm still holding this dome spawn you know I'm just letting my teammates push in there making them spawn bricks alley just making sure I don't there's no stragglers trying to pinch spawns and spawn us out and I have a wraith in the air so it's kind of just taking care of mid map And we only need eight more seconds, and their whole team's spawned out. So I'm just gonna help them mid cross so they can't get to little door and try to contest the hills for the to try to keep the game going. And as you can see, I went 35 and 13, and we won 250 to 67. So Mizuno, and thanks for watching. Peace.